my florette here. Let's have some fun with the mirror image dab by Ink on 3. I'm going to start out by taking the foam pad out of my Misty. I'm going to take my mirror image stamp and place it where the foam pad was. Then I'm going to take my stamp and place it where I want it to stamp on my paper, just as you would a normal stamp. Ink it up a few times and just barely kiss it down so that you don't smush your little design because you've got polymer to polymer, two soft surfaces. So just touch it lightly and then take your paper, place it on top, rub it gently, and there you have it. Just made a mirror image of a stamp, now doubling the stamps that you have. So I'm going to clean this off so I can put it aside to use it a little bit later and show you another fun technique with it. So now I want to stamp my little dragon the way the, the stamp was designed to go. So I simply place my paper in with my foam this time, just as you normally would, ink it up and stamp. And look at that, adorable. Now I'm going to show you another technique that you can use with the mirror image stamp. A faux watercolor background. So I'm going to take my mirror image stamp and position it where I want it to place on the paper. I have my mirror image stamp on one side, paper on the other, and I can ink it up. I'm going to ink it up with the Atelier inks. I'm going to ink it up with Bee Sting Yellow, Marigold Orange, and the Maryland Red. I'm going to spritz it with water. I'm going to spritz the mirror image stamp and also the paper, and I'm using watercolor paper, and then close it together and we have a faux watercolor background with very little effort ready for our card. Now we've got our background all set. I thought I would show you how I watercolor really quickly the two little dragons. And look how cute that is. So we have two dragons now facing each other because of the mirror image stamp. So I'm just taking some of the Atelier inks by Ink on 3 and now using them for watercoloring. So I've used them for my background. You can use them for stamping and you can use them for watercoloring, blending, all that fun stuff. But look at the vibrant colors. I did some really simple watercoloring on these guys and then put a little on the heart and we've got two little dragons, a little heart, and I'm just gonna cut those out. And this card is gonna be so cute. But you can see how the mirror image stamp will actually double the stamps you have. And because it's really large, you can use it with all size stamps. So you can use it with your really big stamps all the way down to the itty bitty stamps. And then of course you can make all kinds of fun backgrounds and all kinds of fun things. I think this card is turning out really cute. I added a little liquid pixie dust to my background a little liquid glue to adhere it to my card front. And then I wanted to add a little more sparkle because I love sparkle. And dragons, they're so magical, they could, they could use a little magical sparkle too. So I took a little liquid pixie dust, painted it on, and called it done. And I think it turned out really good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give the mirror image stamp a try. I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for stopping by and see you next time.